Uh, my name is Joe Laverick, I'm a Velotech athlete and today we're at Silverstone Wind Tunnel to test every Velotech skin suit as well as all the major competitor skin suits. This time trial bike I'm sitting on wasn't even built 12 hours ago, so we are riding it wireless brakes, wireless cables, basically as a test on me rather than focusing on position. Um, it's all about skin suits today. Uh, the good thing about today is we got an absolute treasure trove of data. Um, I think I got changed maybe 15 or 20 times into the various different skin suit types. Looking down the lens to use as a mirror. Check the helmets on. It really just looks like I'm posing. Um, the test protocol we did was 45, 50 and 55 kilometers an hour, so three different speeds. And then the yaw angles were zero degrees, two and a half degrees and five degrees of yaw. So that's three lots of three. is nine different setups for each test run of each suit. We tested every single skin suit available in the Velotech range, as well as using competitive base layers with Velotech suits, competitive suits with their base layers as well. All well, I was saying to the right material first. So I had well. some of this I left over. Wow. Uh, I just decided to see what happens. Yeah. And this hasn't been tested before? No. This is one of those ones that a lot of people are going to be like, no, even if it's faster. It yeah. Like it. <laughs> yeah. It looks like you have to get it. Send this to the mask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it yeah, sure. Yeah, this is a medium. Really? Yeah, it, it's the material is quite different. It's, it's like you're wearing a wetsuit almost. Yeah, it doesn't look like a wetsuit. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, 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 it's <laughs> the <laughs> Maybe that'd be the gimp suit. <laughs> <laughs> and rather surprisingly, everything kind of tested the same. Um, it shocked every single person in the room that no matter the price point, the brand or whatever, I was pretty similar within maybe a percent and a half on absolutely everything. Um, I wish I could tell why, tell you why that is, like we're all baffled, but sometimes aerodynamics be like that. And yeah, it's nice to know that the baseline product which I used, which was the, the uh, Velotech Pro 8, was just as fast, if not faster, than everything else we tested. Um, so sometimes you spend five hours sitting in a wind tunnel testing hours upon hours just to find out that your original setup was fastest. Um, but yeah, that's aerodynamics. We were quite surprised to find that there weren't huge differences between a lot of the different setups, but it's really promising to see that we're actually up there and beating uh, some of the known to be market leading brands. 